My name is Laurent Pfister. I'm uh, the head of the Catchment and Eco-Hydrology Research Group at the Luxembourg Institute of Science and Technology. Together with our colleagues from uh, Canada and New Zealand, we received the FNR Award for Outstanding Scientific Publications for our work in the LZ River Basin, where we uh, have worked on fundamental hydrological functions uh, of water collection, storage and release, and how they are actually controlled by bedrock geology. For decades, we have been uh, investigating how rainfall is transformed into flow in our rivers. And uh, most of our understanding of these mechanisms uh, stems from uh, our investigations that have been carried out either at the surface or at best a few centimeters below the surface. We've carried out pioneering work in uh, 16 nested catchments of the LZ River Basin, where we have uh, investigated how bedrock geology spanning in some areas down to, uh, to 80 meters deep, actually controls how uh, runoff is generated, how the flow in the rivers is generated, and also how old the water is. For determining the age of water, we actually use the chemical signature of rainfall and stream water, because these signatures change over time and they also change in space. And it's uh, these two informations that we use for determining where the water flows and how long it stays in a catchment. We found that catchments with more impermeable bedrock usually have a much lower storage capacity, which means that the water travels or rainfall travels through them faster, showing that the water is younger in those systems but this also means that they are much less resilient during dry period, during droughts. In general, it's important to understand how our water reservoirs develop, how climate change is impacting them, and what's the relevance for our drinking water supply. Until now, we lack the data sets to study and understand how underlying geologies control hydrological processes. The Alzheimer River Basin is a perfect study site for that with 16 different catchments. They have different geologies, different sizes, but a uniform climate. We had a nine-year data set of hydrometeorological observations. We had observations in stream flow and precipitation across all these sites. This is a an unique and outstanding data set on global scale. For the research community, we provide a template how to study hydrological processes, which is now applied in the Alps and in Canada. For Luxembourg, we provide necessary information for stakeholders in the water sector on how to manage water resources under change.